Macroeconomic stability is an essential component of the transitional stabilization program, uh, uh, critical for economic growth and the achievement of the goals set out by His Excellency in Vision 2030. In order to stabilize the exchange rate and hence to lower inflation, the government has decided to implement a holistic package of key policy measures. In this regard, a currency stabilization task force has been set up. It will be spearheaded by the Minister of Finance and Economic Development and the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, and it will include members of the MDC and also the Presidential Advisory Council. The task force will be chaired by the Minister of Finance and Economic Development and will meet at least once a week to review the conditions in the market, to monitor the behavior of key variables such as the exchange rate and inflation, and to ensure that the measures that are, uh, are outlined below are expeditiously implemented. The task force will put in place additional policy measures where necessary. Let me now give you a broad outline of the measures uh, that have been agreed to and that are currently under uh, implementation in terms of this policy announcement. First of all, we, we, have, we are going to move or announce an exchange rate mechanism uh, that is called a managed floating exchange rate system. I repeat, managed floating exchange. So this is a managed float as opposed to a crawling peg and other or fixed exchange rate or other exchange rate. It's a managed floating exchange rate. I, I emphasize the word managed, emphasize the word also floating. Zimbabwe has had no transparent and effective foreign exchange trading platform for a long time. Consequently, official rates have, been have not been effectively determined while a thriving power market has developed. To correct this anomaly, an electronic uh, forex trading platform based on the Reuters system is being uh, immediately put in place. This platform will allow foreign exchange uh, uh, to be traded freely amongst banks and permit a true market exchange rate uh, uh, to be determined. The blue exchange uh, uh, or blue exchanges will also participate on this platform through their authorized uh, dealers. The trading rules of the blue exchanges are being uh, 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 concluded so that they can conduct uh, all wider uh, range of uh, transactions. So the number of transactions, type of transactions for bureaus is being widened and they will be plugged into this new Reuters based uh, uh, trading system. But I must also hasten to say that it is an expectation that the, the system will be tightened around bureaus and make sure there are also some fiscalized machines that they are able to, to make use of as, as they transact, as they effect transactions. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe will continue to be a significant player in the market, providing liquidity to stabilize the exchange rate where necessary. This mechanism will be immediately operational. All the foreign exchange requirements uh, will be available through the interbank market, uh, uh, which will use a market determined exchange rate. The, uh, the market will be started in, in years. Um, but of course, we, we, we expect perhaps an initial coalition of the willing to begin trading on the system and the rest of the banks will, will join uh, in the fullness of time. Uh, banks will be the market, sole market makers, the main market makers. Uh, the Reuters system will generate a daily exchange rate uh, in, in an uh, a AM and PM fixed positive currency, you know, you know what that means. Uh, banks uh, will charge uh, bureaus very thin margins uh, on transactions which are routed through them as authorized dealers. Let me turn to, uh, to bureaus. Uh, bureaus are to immediately, uh, 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 will immediately be liberalized as per the reserve bank rules which are being fine tuned. Uh, Governor will say a few words about that. Uh, and, and, and we're ready to, to implement. There's been no limit on bureaus' ability to finance demand, uh, including importers. But of course, with importers, we expect them to work with the authorized data so the paperwork is correct and, and there's no deviation from the set uh, system. Bureaus will, will, will market, 
will be market takers, not market makers, I think. You'll be market takers.